Prepare your work outside and get it ready for yourself in the field. Afterward, build your house and establish a home. Hallelujah. Hello everyone. My name is Ishmael and, and welcome to today's quick video. And in today's quick video, I want you to code, to mark, to underline the word the prepare. Prepare. I want to share with you today that in everything you have to prepare. There are things which the Lord won't do for you until you are well prepared. You must get ready, you must prepare yourself and the Lord will do it for you. He won't do it while you're not ready. Some of the things he does them just because he knows deep down that you are already ready. But the things that you're not yet ready, he won't do even when it's the right time because you know it's a waste of time for him to bless you with that thing. For example, let's talk about marriage. For you to have a lasting marriage that does not even end in divorce, you must be prepared for it. You must be prepared to resolve whenever you have conflicts. You must be prepared to handle everything that comes with marriage, the challenges. You must be ready because sometimes some people, they split, they separate, they divorce because of something very small, just a little misunderstanding that only if they were a matured person, it would have been resolved. Hallelujah. For another example, is like when it comes to a job, you cannot go into a job interview without being prepared. Hence, they will tell you when you're going to be interviewed and you begin preparing or else you are going to fail. When they bring you into that interview, you're going to fail if you do not prepare and you won't even get the job. So you must get ready. Even when it comes to studying for a certain job or a career, if you go there without having studied it, you won't understand anything. And as a result, even if the Lord can favor you and give you a career in engineering or being a doctor, you won't understand anything about treating patients because you didn't study it. You are not prepared. So prepare. For blessings, prepare. When God is about to bless you financially, he also wants you to be ready so that you don't overspend the money, so that you don't spend money on useless things which are just going to take you away from him. You don't buy alcohol, make parties, you know, those things which are just going to take you out of his presence. So you must be prepared for the Lord. In everything that you're asking the Lord today, I want you to take time as you go and pray. Ask yourself this one question. For this thing that I'm asking the Lord for, am I prepared? And if your answer is yes, also further ask yourself this question. How am I prepared? Try to think of every challenge that may come and be like, can you handle it? If indeed you realize you can handle it, then you are ready. If some you realize you're still not sure, then that is your answer. He's still preparing you until you are ready. Hallelujah. And of course, that's all I had for in today's video. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And as for me, I will see you next time. Stay blessed.